Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. This is a short video on flow rate calculation, when differential pressure transmitter is being used to measure flow. In this video, we will take one example to learn, how to calculate maximum flow rate, differential pressure, and controller output. In addition to this, we will learn about standard formula to calculate 4 to 20 mA from percentage. First of all, let's learn how to calculate maximum flow rate and differential pressure in following example. So, first of all, we will write down all the information, which is already given in this example. As you can see from the picture that, flow rate is 11.65 GPM in this example. 0 to 32 inch H2O is the range of flow indicator transmitter. And square root extractor is being used at transmitter end. 10.7 mA is the output of transmitter. Now, by using this information, calculate maximum flow rate. Then find differential pressure. Lastly, calculate flow controller output. Step number 1. Find process value or differential pressure value. In order to find process value, we have standard formula to calculate process value from milliampere, lower range value, and upper range value. Now, put milliampere value, lower range value, and upper range value in this equation. And do the simple math to find process value. When you do the math, you will get 13.4 inch H2O as differential pressure value. Now, convert this differential pressure or process value into percentage. In order to convert process value into percentage, put the values in this equation. And do the simple math calculation to find out percentage value. You will get 41.88%. Step number 2. Find maximum flow rate. As we know that, flow rate is directly proportional to square root of differential pressure. Now, put 41.88% in this equation, and take square root of this value. You will get 64.71%. This is the maximum flow rate in percentage. Now, convert this maximum flow rate into GPM. When you put values into equation, you will get 18 GPM maximum flow value. Step number 3. Find flow controller output when maximum flow rate is 64.71%. In this example, flow controller range is 1 to 5 volt. It means that, minimum range is 1 volt and maximum range is 5 volt. And maximum flow rate is 64.71%. Now, put all these values in this standard equation, and do the simple math to find out controller output. When you do math calculation, you will get 3.59 volts. In other words, flow controller will generate 3.59 volts when maximum flow rate is 64.71%. In this section, we will learn about standard formula to calculate 4 to 20 mA from percentage. As you can see, this is a standard formula to convert any percentage process value into mA value. Let's understand this formula by taking one example. Example. Calculate the milliampere for 60% of signal. Now, put 60% in this equation, and do the simple math calculation. In other words, we need to put 60% in place of x in this equation. When you do math calculation, you will get 13.6 milliampere value. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video is informative for you. And please like and subscribe this channel to watch exciting videos like this.